Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Hope you are fine with the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEPS Home School. I am Sabrina Hawk, Assistant Teacher of Science, National Ideal English Version School, Deshi. Dear students, today I am going to take a science class for class 5 student <coughs> on the based on first chapter of your elementary science book. And this is our first class for 2021. So let's start our class and take your textbook. Open page number 2 and follow the class with your textbook. Dear students, let's move forward to this topic. Today we will discuss chapter 1. The name of the chapter is Our Environment. The first lesson of the chapter is Relation between Living and Non-Living Things. All the things in the environment can be classified into living things and non-living things. Dear students, please underline these living things and non-living things. People, animals and plants are living things. Soil, water, air, covers, chair, etc. are non-living things. Dear students, if you observe this picture, you can find out the relation between living and non-living things. Dear students, here there is an animal, it is cow. The cow is eating water and that cow is eating grass. And we know the animal take care for their breathing and we also get our food from the plants. And this also a picture of between the relation between living and non-living things. Then Vehicles, they are showing the vehicles and buildings where we live and which one we use for going anywhere. They all are non-living things. And uh, who are using these non-living things? The <coughs> living thing. That means we. We are living things. We are using all non-living things for our survival. Now, come to the next phase. That is summary. Human. Humans depend on non-living things. They need air to bathe, water to drink, and food to get nutrition for survival. Dear yes, students, this line is too much important for you. They also use soil for growing crops and lands to build their shelter. However, human needs shelter, furniture, clothes, appliances, etc. to live. Dear students, look at the picture. The human depends on the living things in their life. Look, we are using vehicles. We <coughs> make our shelters on the uh, soil and we are taking care for our breathing. All are non-living things, whatever we use for our living. Now come to the next lesson that is our animals. Sorry, other animals. Other animals also depend on non-living things for survival. Animals need air, water and food to live. Again, underline this line. Animals need air, water and food to live. They use soil and water as habitat. For some animals like insects or earthworms live in soil. Some such as fish and corn live in water. Look here in the picture we can see the animals live in water and if you observe this picture then some animals that live in soil that is rare earthworm and some insects who live in soil. Now come to the next lesson. The name of the lesson is plants. Plants depend on non-living things to survive their <coughs> environment. In their environment. Plants use sunlight, water and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. This line also too much important for you. So underline this line. Plants 
such as water lily and water hyacinth also use water as habitat. Like other animal. animals, some animals also live in water and some plants also live in water. Living things depends on non-living things for survival in the environment. All things and not living, all living and non-living things that exist and interact in one place is called a ecosystem. This is the definition of ecosystem. So please underline this line. All living and non-living things that exist and interact in one place is called a ecosystem. Now come to the <coughs> next segment, next page, page number 4. Mutual dependence between plants and animals. Now, how question is how do plants and animals depend on each other? And this question is too much important for you. If you look this picture, you can understand. Look, huh, the this animal is taking the nut as their food. Food, and the cow is eating grass. Monkey is living on the tree. This owl is also living in the tree. This birds also living in the tree. That means some animals get shelter in the plants and we also take as food the parts of the plants and plants gives us oxygen for our breathing. Now come to the summary in the next phase. The plant and animals depends depend on each other in the environment. Animals. Animals depend on plants in many ways. Animals use the oxygen given off by plants. Animals eat various parts of plants such as stem, leaves, fruits to get energy. Plants are also used as shelter by the animals. Several animals like monkey, squirrel and insects use plants for their shelters. Birds make their nest on trees. Human beings also use plants to make their houses. Now we are going to plants. Dear students, the whole part of this para is important for you. You have to mark the whole part of this para. That's why I don't make it underlined. You have to underline the whole para. Now we will go for the plants. Plants depends depend on animals for growth, making food, pollination and seed dispersal. Plants use the carbon dioxide given off by animals to make food. Plants depend on animals for nutrients too. When animals die, the dead remains become fertilizer in the soil. Plants use the fertilizer as nutrition to grow. Through Pollination plants make seeds. New plants grow from these seeds. Animals such as birds, bees, helps plants in their pollination. Seed dispersal makes, means the transport of seeds away from the parent plant. Seed dispersal helps plants to create new colonies. Like this, plants and animals depend on each other in the environment. Dear students, this part also too much important for you. Mark the whole para. If you observe this picture, you can understand the mutual dependence. The, there they are showing one animal. The animal give off the carbon dioxide which is taken by the plants and plants give off the oxygen and the animal is taken for their breathing. And when the animal died that time it mixed up with the soil and plants take that <coughs> nutrients and they grow and their stool also used as fertilizer and by this picture we can understand mutual dependence between mutual dependence between plants and animals dear student this is the first part of the chapter we will discuss the second part in our next class so read the chapter properly and underline the important part of the chapter and learn that important part for your better understanding. <coughs>
स्टे सेफ स्टे होम थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफि